All right, Doc, we hear about scammers taking advantage of people on the phone, through email, and of course on social media. Yeah, but now one is surfacing in a local neighborhood. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is here, and this one is happening right in front of your home. It is, Sandra and Jason. We're talking about flyers like this one. They're being put on mailboxes and on front doors all over the uh, suburbs of Metro Detroit. Uh, crews going door to door saying they'll paint your address right here on your curb. It's supposed to help police and firefighters find your home, but as you'll see, they're taking your cash and they're not doing the work. And yet there were some people who were intrigued by it and thought it seemed like a good idea. It's a pretty simple scam, but even the simple ones could fool you. The flyer was taped to our mailbox right here on all the mailboxes in the neighborhood. Um, which is actually a federal offense. Ethan kind of Baker is a Troy City you know, Council member and the president of his homeowners association. He and some neighbors got this flyer. It says emergency crews will not be able to find your home because your address isn't visible. It says to uh, leave the money and the flyer on your door. It's just $20. You leave the money and the next morning the crews allegedly paint your address on your curb. But after Ethan called Troy PD, who advised him to be cautious, he did some digging on his own. Online, I looked it up and found that this same flyer has been used all over the country. I found it in Florida, I found it in California, a lot in Ohio. It turns out this flyer with the same name, same logo, same everything, has been circulating all over Metro Detroit. And it is a scam. There was no guarantee that any work would be done. And when I saw what was online, that people were getting taken advantage of and having their cash and or checks taken with no work done. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Experts always advise never pay for a service before you actually get it. In this case, the scammers will take your money and never paint a house number. Ethan says in Troy, the city has requirements to display addresses on your home already in place. And in his neighborhood, they would contract with a company and warn residents ahead of time. So if this sort of flyer ends up at your home, be cautious. Do your research and call police if you have a question. Uh, again, this is a copy of that flyer right there. If you didn't get a good look at it in the story, we're going to put everything you need to know on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. Uh, we see these scams all the time. They tend to pop up usually in the spring mm -hmm. or the fall. They want to make their money before winter. Uh, Troy police just saying avoid it. Don't take the bait. And am I, am I crazy just to think that you could do this yourself if you really wanted to? Well, you might be able. I probably well, couldn't. I couldn't either. <laughs> yeah, Somebody probably spray paint. could do yeah. it. Somebody could probably do it right. But obviously, and you mentioned this as we were watching the story, you don't want to leave $20, $10, no. $5 no. taped to your front door for anybody. No. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Hank. Sure.